Hello everyone, this is Zayda Golami from Agrimat Soft Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to create dummy variables in Excel. So in here I have BMI as dependent variable and I have job, exercise hours and age as independent variables. The problem in here is how to inform the nominal or ordinal variables into regression model. So the problem is that you cannot have uh, this, uh, like this categorical data into your regression model. We want to solve that problem. What we will do is that we inform, we determine dummy variables. So if you want to have a very simple example of dummy variables and if you want to have more explanations about what is dummy variable, go check out my previous video on that. And in here I want to get a little deep deeper on the topic. In the previous video I was just talking about um having two categorical data in um in one variable but in here i want to talk about more than two categorical data okay if you have more than two categories in a title then what you will do so in here i have job as one of my independent variables it um it divides into teacher engineer and babysitter uh what i will do in here is that I have um when I have three categories it converts to two two dummies okay but why is that you always have n minus one dummies and um n represents for the number of categories okay so in here i have two dummy variables in here i have teacher i have engineer And I have babysitter. Okay, in here I should take two of these three uh, jobs. So it doesn't dif uh, it doesn't um, make any difference which two do you take. So I want to take uh, teacher and engineer. Okay, and I omit babysitter in here. So then, um, when you do that, you are actually comparing these two categories, uh, with babysitter. Okay, I, I will, um, I will do it and you will understand what I mean. So I should just erase this one so that I have two columns in here and let's get into the excel so i have teacher the first dummy and the second one is engineer so i will show um the data in teacher and engineer variables using zero and one so i will use an if function if this one is equal to this one then represent one and if not represent zero so i copy that to all the cells you can see i have so of course it should be an absolute um cell reference and then i copy that so it's okay now then um i i do the same thing for engineer so if this one is equal to this one using absolute cell references 
then show one, if not show zero. So I copy that to all the cells. You can see I have uh, six engineers in here. And then that's all. So now you have created dummy variables in Excel with more than two categories. Um, I've explained in the previous video, but if in the in case you have not watched that, I want to have another uh, two categories dummy variable also in here. So it's for gender. Let's erase them all. And let's get into, yeah, let's get into here. I have gender. And then I have woman or female. And I copy that to these cells and male. And also copy that. And I want to get randomly male or female. So let's copy this pattern. Okay, of course, these are fake data. You can see it. I just want to, um, to teach you how to make those dummy variables. Th these are not, uh, you know, are not correct. These are not real data. Of course, I'm, I'm just making it. Okay, so when you have this gender as female or male, then what you will do is to whether have female or male as dummy variable. Then what you will do if you have female, for example, if you have female, whenever the female is written in here, you will put one. Whenever there's male, you put zero. So then I should have another if function so that if this one equals to this one, uh, of course, as absolute cell reference, then put one, if not put zero. So I copy that and that's all. So that was, so that is uh, two examples of how you could create dummy variables in Excel. So that's uh, how you just informed uh, job and gender, which are two nominal um, variables into a regression model. And now all you have to do is to go to data tab, data analysis, and in regression, click OK, and you just feel free to select each two uh, or three or more than that uh, variables into your regression model. I will make just an example. I do not want to anal analyze it, uh, but I just want to make uh, a regression model in here for you. So I have BMI as dependent variable, and uh, let's say exercise hours, age, and job as three. Uh, independent variables. Of course, I want to consider the first row as labels. And in here, I want to new worksheet named as um, BMI and job. Okay. I click OK. Oh, okay. Uh, exercise hours, age, and job as independent variables. Okay, now it's correct. Um, so you can see my regression is now made in here. I have multiple R as 80%, which I myself didn't think about it because I've just made those data um, by, by myself. Those are fake data. And so, so I just, uh, I just do not care about this data. But if you want to check, your adjusted R score should be like uh, more than eighty, maybe eighty percent. 
the bigger it is and the nearer it is to one, uh, it's better. Okay, the um, one it means that hundred percent of your uh, dependent variables of your dependent data, dependent variable data, are um, explainable with your independent variables data. Did you get that? And whenever it's uh, it's distanced from one, uh, it's you know it's it's bad. It's getting worse. And so you can see the exercise hours has negative effects on the BMI. Of, of course, it has positive because I, I mean by by negative I mean that it lowers the BMI. Whenever the BMI is lower, you are healthier. So it has positive effect on your health and negative effect on the BMI value. So age the has a negative effect on your health. You can see whenever the age goes up, it has um one it has t uh, seventeen percent uh, negative effect on the health, and it hires the BMI by seventy seventeen percent etc so you could see my regression model is now i have the tables in data for my regression model that was super easy i i, I think and follow my next video on uh, dummy variable regression i have more explanations on regression using dummy variables i will see the next videos i hope you like this video i hope you uh, enjoy this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next videos and bye